The College of the Sequoias football program has reason to be excited this season. You want someone to walk in the door and say, wow, I want to come here. After eight months of construction, the Giants have a new place to call home. A brand new state-of-the-art locker room that's on par with some D1 facilities. This is a 62-year-old building. Dean of Facilities Byron Wood says it was time to give football players a new experience. And after a $600,000 investment from the school, that vision became a reality. You could have the staffing, the coaches, you could have the other players and the talent. But if your facilities aren't up to par, then they're going to go elsewhere. Complete with custom wood lockers, artwork, lights. <laughs> A speaker system and even a coach's lounge, the building's been transformed into something players and coaches alike can enjoy. But the renovations don't stop there. This is just the one of the first steps in the overall pro improvement projects that we're doing. The school's already laid down its new turf field and starting in November plans to break ground on a stadium expansion that would include an entry plaza, bleachers, an elevated press box, and a 600 square foot video board. So we want them to come to COS and say, this is the place I can go to transfer on to my four-year career. For head coach Travis Burkett, the revamp is a blessing. Facilities don't win you, win you a game, but what they do is they provide an opportunity for guys to have a sanctuary, to be together, to create that team bond that we're looking for. With a new locker room and more improvements on the horizon, He's looking to create an atmosphere that can get his players to the next level. Most of our recruits will look you right in the eye and say that they got slept on, they got passed over, that they need to come here to develop in our program to get to where they want to go, which is Division One football. So our answer to that is we've got this set up that way. If you're tough enough, if you're smart enough, if you're gritty enough to do our program, we'll get you there. With well, the a season opener just two weeks away, Coach Burkett is thankful for a community willing to invest. You know, somebody said, you know, how do you spell love? And that's T-I-M-E, time. And I think what our guys are seeing is that the people here love to invest their time, their sweat equity, into creating a place for our guys to be able to thrive. For Good Sports, Alec Nolan, ABC 30 Action News.